So here we go. We have a really quick <laughs> but hearty glute workout today. So I am putting on ankle weights. They are completely optional. It's just gonna make that burn a little bit more intense. So the workout today, about 10 to 12 minutes long, but we're gonna just target the glutes and dig right in. So warm up if you need to beforehand and let's get started. So we're gonna start laying on our back. This is a circuit workout, so we're gonna go three rounds of the same leg and then switch. We'll start with the right leg working, arms down by your sides, and we're gonna go 30 seconds at a time. We're gonna just start with a bridge and a lift. And so we're gonna start with a bridge. So we're just gonna lift pubic bone towards you, shoulders relaxed, and lower. I want you dominant on the right leg so you can take your left heel and just lift it up and then you're just going to really feel that right glute fire up making sure we're not overarching the back start to feel that burn right away with a very light left foot give me four three two and one now coming up i'll turn this way we're going to put our hands behind us of your fingers facing you again on that right leg so left leg is light we're lifting and lowering so we're still in that bridge your gaze can be right over that front knee whoo i can feel that burn already lift and lower very light in the left foot drive the hips up you've got it for eight, seven, six, five, four, and one. All right, we're gonna go on to our elbows on our forearms for donkey kicks. So right leg is gonna kick up and back in. You wanna make sure here that you're pulling that left sits bone back Ooh, we are gonna get juicy into those glutes today. You can flex your foot, press up towards the sky, press. If you feel nice and strong, you could lengthen all the way. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back into our bridging. So, bridging. Remember, we're light in our left leg. Here we go, we're going right into it. So, here we go. Now this time, if you wanna bring your left knee up, you can. If you wanna tap the foot down when you come down, lift the knee as you come up, you can, or you can stay on that toe and get more range. So, find, pick your poison. Give me 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, popping up, hands here, same thing. We're gonna go up, lift the leg, lower it down. Ha! Oh, I can really feel it. And we're only on round two. We've got three rounds. So I'm lifting as I come up, trying to keep the hips even. If you feel your hips are getting wobbly, you can always just keep that toe down. We've got eight, seven, oh, six, I'm feeling this one with you, five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it back onto the forearms. Here we go. This time, let's kick it all the way up. We can even cross it over and up. So it's kind of like this little like curtsy type move. If you look over your right shoulder, you should see that heel pop up. Really feel it. Oh. <laughs> Eight, seven, six. Keep your weight sitting back. Five, four, Three, two, 
and one. All right, I know it is burning. We're going right back into that third round on the right leg. So right leg's still working. This time let's go into a figure four position and we're gonna lift and lower. Oh yeah, we feel that. We've got this. This is our last round. Really drive that left hip up as well. <sighs> Promise you, you'll be feeling this one a little bit tomorrow as well. Almost there, five seconds. Yes, you can. Get that activation, get that height. And one, bring it up. No, don't bring it all the way up. Take your hands back. Here we go, so same thing, figure four. You're gonna lift. Drive that hip up. You can find a little more length with the arms, with the legs. Just get those hips high. Ten seconds, almost there. Whew. Two and one, nice, flip it over. All right, here we go. So back to our donkey kicks. Let's add a pulse, up, pulse, in, up, pulse, in. So it's like a full, a half, full, Half, pulse, up, pulse. Yes, you can, we've got it. Almost there. Let's finish those full ones. 10, nine, eight, get that length. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Oh, set it back into a little child's pose. Let those knees open. Find that release. Whew. All right. Pedal it out. We're going to our other side. We're going to find the left glute. So let's come into our bridge. Here we go. Right toe is down for this first set. We're going in two and one, drive it up. Remember your focus is that left hip, getting the range, keeping the ribs down. Press. When we work our glutes and our back body, be aware of the inner thighs. That's what helps you keep those hips steady. So find that draw inwards and upwards as we do with all of our Pilates moves. Three, two, and one. Pop it up. All right, here we go. Hands behind you, right toe on the ground. Press. Your gaze is still forward. We don't want to strain the neck. Maybe keep the elbows soft. Watch those inner thighs. Try to keep those hips nice and even. A little softness in the elbows. If this is too much for you, you can always go back to that bridge too. So remember that as you work. Woo, two more. Two and one. Flip around. Here we go. We've got our kicks, our donkey kicks. So elbows down, press the ground away, flex the foot. Here's that inner thigh thing again. You don't want to let the knee flare out to the side. Not in this exercise anyway. Press it up. So how are your glutes today? Mine are on fire. Give me eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, and one. Oh, bring it in. All right, round two. Don't give up. We got this. Here we go. Let's 
light on the right, going up. <sighs> oh, my butt is burning. I'm going to keep that toe down. <sighs> All right, we've got 20 seconds. We can do it. Yes, we can. Lift. Think that knee's pulling up to the ceiling. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Feeling any workout you've done this weekend or this week. When we're tired, you guys, that's when it comes together. That's when we make those changes. Give me three, two, and one. Flip those hands up. Here we go. Bridging. Up. Remember, your focus is in the left here. You can take this up and down. Up and down. I am shaking in that left side. Notice how my right hip is rising up. We don't want that. So if it happens, keep the toe down, right? As we get tired, our form might start to go, but our form is more important than excelling the exercise. I'm going to try again. Three, two, and one. Flip it over. Here we go. Moody time. Give me those kicks. Up, up. I'm going to go across and up, across. Up. So if I look over my left shoulder, I can see that heel popping up. Reach. <sighs> Breathe. You've got it. Give me eight, seven, six. Keep pulling the right hip back. Five, four, three, two, and one, bring it in. Huh. All right, last round. Hang in there with me. We have got this. All right, we're going to go into our figure four lifts. So right heel on the left knee, up. Up we go, right into it. Whew. Last and final round of these, you guys, of the glutes. Three, two, and one. All right, our favorite. We got this. Hands down, feet grounded, up and back down. We can take it into a figure four, find a little more length. <sighs> Lifting both hips, keeping length in both sides. Ah, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Don't stop. Now get that height. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, kicks. Here we go. We're going up and back, getting the height this time. Find it. Pull that right hip back. We can add a little pulse and in. Up and long. Pulse. Up and long. Pulse. Up and long. If you feel you're going into that lower back, sit back a little bit more. All right, give me those lengths. 10, 9, reach through your heel. 8, 7, kick to the sky. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, feel that burn, baby, burn. Sit it back. Find a little release, a little stretch. Whew. Breathe. Okay, those were our glutes. That's the glute series. Now you can choose, that's the glute series. You can choose to stay there and call it a day. You've got your activation or you can continue on with our plank series as well. So here we go, plank series. We're gonna pedal it out. Find that length. I want you to find a little mobility in the shoulders as well. Because we just did the glutes, we're gonna do like a little glute release with this. So we're gonna take 
the right leg up towards the sky. We're gonna bring the knee in for a pigeon, but go into a little active pigeon. So we lift. Back toe is still tucked. Make sure we aren't going too much into that, that lower back. We go up, reach, in, and lift. So we're still getting a little glute here. When we lift up, you're gonna feel that because I am on my left side right now. Whatever side you're on, stay there. If you are not getting the range of motion in the shoulders, you guys, soften the knee. Two more. For two. And one, set it down, pedal it out. All right, right side. Up, sweep it up. Pull it in, set it down. Find that little release. First one, just kind of set it up. All right, here we go. Up and back, in and down. We're going 30 seconds of each of these moves. So if you don't want to hear me talk anymore, you can mute me, set a timer, keep it going. Reach. Reach. Make sure you lift your chest. Put a little weight on that hip. Give me two. And one. Ah, bring it down. All right, we are working the shoulders, so I'm not gonna give you too much of a break with the shoulders here because shoulders are so important to the core. We're gonna bring it into our little pigeon and we're gonna press those hips up. All right, so from here, find a forearm plank where you're pressing into the hands and into the elbows. And then we're gonna press away and we pike. So you can soften the knees here if you want to get that shoulder stretch. And then we're gonna bring it back into our plank. We're not going too far forward right now. We're here, up and back. It's not a huge move like the plank shifters or the plank push-ups. Yes, it's a lot of shoulders. Yes, it could be more core. So as we come forward, let the hips drop, let the shoulders open, then press everything away. We've got 10 more seconds here. It's the core and the shoulders that are lifting you up. So pull up with the lower core. Give me two. And one. All right, now find that little release. Shake the shoulders out, shake the arms out. We are gonna go into a little side plank one here. So we're gonna take ourselves into a wide stance. Now we've done these on our forearms before. We're having a long arm plank we're gonna twist, rotate. So we're doing these rotators in a high plank. The hip can almost set down. Let the shoulder come forward a little bit and then reset it. Find the work in that opposition. Pull up with the side body. Four. Three, two, and one. Shake it out, let it go. All right, two more, two more moves here. We got this. We're gonna go back into our forearm plank and ideally hands are separated. You're gonna come here. We're gonna go knee, to tricep and back. Knee to tricep and back. If your shoulders are really tired, you need to go here, go here. You've got it, join me. We're on the clock. Can you touch your tricep on both sides? I know it's hard, I know those shoulders are burning. We've got six, five, four, three, two, and one, oh, bring it down. Well done, all right, last move. We're gonna go a side plank, 30 seconds each side. So we can do forearm today, elbow down. Feet aligned with the elbow. 
Here we go. We're going to lift the hips up. Now, check your hips. So, top hip, right over that bottom hip. Yes, we're on the clock. You can reach this arm up or you can take the hand behind that, push the head in the hand. Find that alignment, nice long line. Hold, hold, press the ground away, lift the hips. That's what's gonna get that core. Keep pressing into the hand, we're going over. Five more seconds, give it to me. Five, four, three, press that ground away, press into the thumb side of the hand and release. Bottom knee comes forward, side bend it now. And exhale. All right. Other side. Here we go. In three, two, one. Press the ground away. Stagger the feet. Top foot forward so you can get those hips stacked. Lift it up. Now, if you start to feel too much shoulder, push into your thumb side of the hand and pull up from that bottom hip. Set the head in place. Reach the arm up. Reach, spread those shoulder blades apart. We've got this. Yes, we can. You can always set the bottom knee down, but we can do this. Keep that top hip forward. Hold five, four, three, a little higher. Two, and one. Ha, ah, bottom knee comes forward. And side bend over. Now I know I said that was the last one, but we haven't worked our extension at all in this workout, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna do kind of like a, a plank <laughs> for our back. So we're gonna tuck the toes under, and I want you to imprint. So tuck the tailbone under. Thighs are off the mat, knees are off the mat, but the toes are heavy. Hands are here. We're gonna lift our head up so our nose is right, hovering the mat. We're gonna reach forward and pull back. We're not extending any more than this. We're drawing our core in. We're tucking our tailbone under. Our glutes are on. Our quads are on. Our legs are active. We've got this. Give me 10, nine, scoop through the belly, eight, seven, hover that mat, two more, two, and one, and release, sit it back, find your shell stretch, open those knees, reach long through the arms. We are not collapsing into this, we're reaching. Inhale, on the exhale, walk those hands all the way to the left side of your mat, pressing away with the right, so you should feel a big stretch down that whole right lat and into the QL, into the hip. Breathe, let your head relax. We did it. It's not always easy to get onto your mat, especially when you know what's to come, but it's the feeling afterwards that we get that makes it all worth it. Motivation, it doesn't just happen. We've got to make it happen. We've got to be active. And that's when the motivation comes. That's when it follows. So other side, press the ground away so that opposite hip grounds, maybe reach a little further. Remember, each workout is yours. Each workout is your own. So own it. Listen to your body. You know what's pushing. You know what's not. Push yourself a little bit. Give yourself the love. You're going to feel so good after, I promise. Good. Bring it center. And psych those pants up. We're going to cross one leg over the other. If this position doesn't serve you, you can always just hug the knee in. Right, let's see if we can get those knees stacked and breathe into it. Try to ground both sits bones. Take the hands to the heart, reach those arms up, lift the chest and exhale, circle around. Reach up. And as we circle around, just fold forward. Holding into any tightness, drawing the elbows towards the mat or pushing the ground away to rock back slightly. Breathe. All 
All right, other side, flip the leg cross, sit up tall. Now it's completely normal to find each side feels a little different, right? We're not the same, we're not built the same on each side of our body. That's why we do Pilates, to find that balance. Reach those arms up, inhale. And exhale, letting go of anything that's no longer serving. Reach it up, take it in, inhale. And exhale, fold it forward, reach. Draw the elbows down, push the ground away. Try to find both sits bones down. If it's not there today, that's okay. Now, anytime you guys need a little glute activation, a little glute work, a little core and shoulders, you come and revisit this workout. Doing it weekly, you are gonna get stronger, more resilient. Let's take one more breath, inhale. And exhale. Walking it back. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day.